As you can see, I just lay them. And they're really nice, they just do one thing at a time, you know what I mean? I don't like do When did you start painting? Seriously, 10 years ago, something like that. But I've been drawing all my life. Since I could hold a pencil. Yeah, for real. Literally, literally since I could a pencil. I mean, all kids do love to draw. And it's whether or not you, you know, whether or not your parents encourage you or not, mine always did. That's good, man, that's good. So I just, you know, it's a, and this is my, you're in my studio now, and it's the first time I've ever really had a studio. I've been painting them for all these people's kitchens all my life. So it's nice to have a. What kind of um, what kind of inspirations do you you know do you draw from for your paintings? Different man, everyone's different to me. I'm into uh, I'm into how corrupt the world is at the moment. I'm not gonna say I'm into it. I'm interested in kind of lifting the veil of, of you know a lot yeah. of stuff that's going on. Like my my American soldiers that's called Becoming Peace, which is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, yeah, I've got my, my flag going on. My, well, yeah, that's, quite, quite, that's quite political as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's, it's not very really political, but it, 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 it is saying something about, about America. Not being, not being as there. But, um, so this yeah, is obviously my music heroes, Jimi Hendrix and, you know, things that inspire me, actors and an American flag one. Good stuff, man. So, um, have you done any like like galleries or anything yet? I mean, obviously this looks like this is the studio where they're all hanging. Well, I've been here since February. And I've, I've done all this all this work since then. And we had an exhibition uh, called about six weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, it was a resounding success. It sold uh, 50 paintings. It sold 35. That's good, man. Straight away, yeah, in the first like week. And uh, got the art lounge in Birmingham interested. They, they brought a few pieces themselves, and they wanted to exhibit in there. They come back up here next week. I don't just want to put pictures on the wall like they have in now and they're like an installation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like in my road signs and my graph onto the walls. And yeah, got you. Yeah. The schools over here. I definitely do something like this. Yeah, I'm interested in, you know, people say it's a bit more weird, but it's mortality, isn't it? It's a great theme in artists. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, I like, I like the kind stuff as well, like this, fans in the street, that, fan outside. So just like making art out of rubbish yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I like to, I like to experiment with different mediums. This is an old cupboard door I found. That's an old fire window. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is so good as well, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm into that, I'm into that. And it, it's also large because, you know, I haven't got that much money at the moment. So, yeah. it can be expensive. Another starving, <laughs> art, another, another starving yeah. artist. I've done that, I'm bored of that now. I've done that for a while now. I'm ready to start making some more. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think it's all going, it's all going really well. So yeah. have you got, have you got um, a website or a MySpace page? Yeah, yeah, I've got MySpace on there. MattTheArtist.com. Yeah. It's my website. It's a pretty fat website. I keep updating that regularly. I've got all my new pictures. You know, a bit of press about as well. So we found... A local press. If, um, if, if people want to start, like, contact you, maybe get, you know, maybe buy a painting or maybe see how they went about getting something done, how would they get, would they quite get in contact through yeah, MySpace? Email me through my website, it's the best way. Yeah. So fast, it's all, all, all in your places on there. Cool, cool. But, uh, yeah, man. All through here. <laughs> but, yeah, it's going really well. I just, I just come up here every day, put my tunes on and just go for it. But however I feel at the time, I might feel like painting them. Messed up header and might feel like painting abstract or. It's good to do so many different yeah, styles. Yeah, a lot of artists they, just, they develop one style and then just keep on churning it out again. And, 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 that's good in a way because you get to hone your style down so you know you become a lot, a lot better at that than one style. But with me, I just I've got a short attention span. Yeah. I've got this ADHD or whatever they call it. <laughs> as a kid, I'm just my mind's all over the place. So. So yeah, lots of comic books obviously. So what, what was the inspiration for them at some of these paintings here, man? Some of these. Well, I've, I've read comics all my life. That's probably my first influence. Yeah. I look at a lot of the old adverts. And, you know, they're all American comics, and they've got all these advertisements for guns and stuff in these comics. Yeah. You know, and look how many gun crimes are in America. So I'm just making it. It's kind of tongue in cheek. I'm kind of yeah. twisting twist the American advertising a bit. 
got a dub, you got a dub master there. Yeah. Mr. Lee Scratch. Mr. Lee Scratch. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of really abstract stuff as well, I mean like this one, this piece here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just about having music, you know, just put, put some jack tune on and just go for it. It's, it's, it's how I feel at the time, you know what I mean? If it feels dark, I need some interesting ones, it's about this tune. There's that music. It's deep paintings, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like things, sir. Well, paintings like that, I'm just painting a sexy bird like that. Yeah, that's, that's going to appeal to managing it a bit, it's crazy. Something to look at there, definitely. Well, you know, if I make it a bit bigger, I think I might just go like, through <laughs> one side bigger. <laughs> Artistic like, isn't it? And this is just about, you know, bombs dropping flowers instead of, uh, they're planes dropping flowers instead of bombs, rather. Just twisting it around. Bigger the game. It'd be a nice world if it plays that instead of drop bombs. It'd be better anyway. Well, listen, man, just want to thank you for passing by yeah, the DVD, man. Do you know what I mean? Good luck with it, good luck with it, art, man. Excellent, mate. And uh, I'll see you soon, yeah? yeah nice one, Okay, peace. Yeah, man, peace.